We're Brandon, Mary, and Phoebe, an adventurous travel family. Welcome back to our Iceland series. Today we're diving deeper into this breathtaking country as we journey along the renowned Golden Circle Route. Good morning, guys. Good morning, y'all. Today is her birthday. My birthday. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> so plan for birthday girl's birthday. We're going to do the ever popular Golden Circle Route. We're actually staying in a, a town. I can't pronounce it. Starts with an H, but just near Selfoss. So we're gonna start from the southern part and hit oh, all sorry. the cool spots. Baby wants circle. to be a part oh. of the intro. There, 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 baby. So we're gonna stop real quick at a bakery nearby to grab some snacks. Really, this is like a, a road trip for us back home. So. All right, y'all, checking out the goodies I got from the bakery. That's a cinnamon bun because we was feeling the one yesterday. Yes. Oh my God, you So guys. they said this is super Icelandic. I don't know what it's called. What? Whoa, it looks like a crater. It's like crispier than I thought. I, well, I guess it's like, it's Jay fried, huh? Mm. Come on. It tastes like one of those like energy bars. It's you like know, a healthier donut. No. It doesn't feel unhealthy at all. Yeah. So like it will give you energy to feel all day. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm busting and busting. We gotta get on the road, y'all. We're yeah. lagging. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the sign. All right, you guys. I'm hiking around the Carrot Crater. This is a, a dormant volcano, about 3,000 years old. Uh, Phoebe's sleeping right now, taking a nap, so Mary and I had to take turns checking out the crater, but it's super sick, super beautiful. And yeah, check it out. So windy, I can't feel my face, but look how cool. It's like frozen right now. Super cool. So right now I'm hiking around the edge of the crater. Mary didn't go this far, but I'm headed that way. Just to say I did it. It resembles like an amphitheater. It's super sick. I chose not to fly the drone. Uh, we would have got some sick drone shots here, but the winds are so strong, I didn't want to risk losing it. So that wraps up our time here at Carrot Crater. We're going to head up and continue our journey around uh, the Golden Circle. This was stop one of many, so let's get it. At the next stop in our Golden Circle tour, we're here at the Skalholt Cathedral. Super beautiful and yeah, I almost feel like this, this stop on the route isn't as popular as uh, some of the others. So yeah, it's super uh, remote. Well, it feels remote because like we're the only few here as we were here by ourselves and then yeah, a couple cars started pulling up, but yeah, it's super beautiful. Uh, the wind calmed down just from, you know, 20 minutes. Uh, Mary was like, hey, can you take photos of me with the drone? I said, fine. All right, y'all, so these are Icelandic horses. We just pulled over to the side of the road and we came to the gate. I don't know if they're used to getting fed or something, but we stopped by and uh, they were just come up I think they want to eat hey but I don't got no snacks I don't got no food I was gonna pet them but uh, some other lady was doing it and she said to be careful they're biting right now so I ain't trying to get bit but this is cool Hi. oh my god they're so cute 
you and Trey what? That? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> This one, she said, was, was she was petting this one and said it was biting, so oh, okay. I got scared. I don't know. Oh, so the black one was sweet. Hi, like, Amy? Oh, that's so sweet. I think they're used to getting fed or something because they came up. <laughs> All right, guys. Phoebe's Icelandic horse dream came true. Same with Mary's. Like it was so beautiful. Oh my god! You guys don't know though, but like the whole drive, every time Mary see horses, they could be a mile away. Hey, pull over, pull over! But it doesn't always make sense to pull over. But this one was cool because they're right on the side of the road. I mean, we've only been here two days, but a highlight of our trip already. My birthday is just getting more magical each stop. So, yeah. loving it. It's so cold, but worth it. All right, you guys, just pulled up to Geyser. We're gonna do a bathroom stop before we see it, though. I've been having to go bathroom this whole time, but Mary wanted to stop and see the horses are in there for so long. I'm like, I gotta go. You petting the horse? Oh. Ah. Let me see. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Yeah. Did you get two horses? Oh wow! Huh? Two horses! You want daddy to hold one? So let's go outside! Hold mommy hand! Yeah. Alright, we're at Little Geyser. It's cute and small. Is that cool, Phoebe? You want to take a bubble bath? <laughs> <laughs> bubble? Wow, water. What's up guys, we're here at Geyser and yeah, it's super cool. Phoebe, she keeps saying Wawa, Wawa to the water because there's uh, seems like melting ice, so there's running water everywhere. So we're in the Geyser hot spring area. Uh, the most popular geyser to see here is called Stroker. It shoots up water up to like 30 feet high every 15 to 20 minutes or so, so I've been noticing it's been more frequent, so I just missed it, the shot, and then like 10 minutes later, another one came, so yeah, super popular spot along the Golden Circle route. Phoebe's loving it, she's playing, like there's like running water like all over, I don't know if it's from ice melting, because this trail actually that we're on right now, in the winter it's usually covered in ice and you need crampons, but right now it's pretty non-icy, but with the melting ice, lots of water. Phoebe here, <laughs> just playing and splashing around. Jump, 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 jump. Phoebe, what's that? Phoebe, what's that? Ah. A rock. Ah. Is that a rock? Whoa! Phoebe just sat down. All right, guys, we are here at our next stop, uh, Gofoss. This waterfall is super famous for its high drops and two waterfalls basically touch and make one big waterfall. We're walking towards the falls. It's super windy again. The wind is back. <laughs> super strong, super chilly. Uh, the path is a little icy, but not slippery, so it's not too bad. Phoebe's walking on it just fine. Check this out. Alright you guys, here at, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's like Lagarvinton, 
uh, Fontana. Uh, this is a place they have two shows per day where you can do bread baking. This is the rye bread they're known for and they cook it uh, geothermally in the ground. So super cool, we missed the showing but they sell the bread and I bought a loaf of bread and it's still warm. So Mary's birthday gift, some warm bread, cooked by the earth. Did you tell them that Phoebe had a meltdown at Gulf Foss? That's why we had to leave? I didn't yet. Phoebe had half the bar of chocolate that the guy gave us yesterday and it was like the first time she's ever had like chocolate in her life. And she just kept wanting to go up and down the stairs. And um, yep, and then afterwards she had like a whole tantrum, like toddler tantrum. Yeah, so we, uh, we just had to put her in the car to calm her down and then started driving because she's acting tired but then she would have like relapses from the sugar and then now she's back to normal I think but she's, she's watching her show. Now we're gonna try the bread. Let's see Can I get a piece too so yes. we can try it at the same time? Gee. Right. Cheers, Cheers to the rye bread cooked by the earth. That is fire. I love rye bread. We don't get it that much, but you know, I like it on sandwiches and stuff. But there's something about this eating it plain. It's just fire and knowing it's so good. Like, like how it is. I can only imagine when it's nice and hot. Oh. Do you have a so we do have the fresh Maybe loaf that the, is the still bread. warm, but I'm saving that for later. Reading this one. I think this one is still from today, also. So. We're here at the dinner spot. But Basically, it's her birthday dinner, really. Uh, so we're at a place called, I believe it's called F Stidler. It's a farm, um, but they have um, a restaurant, uh, which we're eating at. They have an ice cream, um, ice cream parlor downstairs that we're probably gonna go there for dessert, but the menu sounded super good. Uh, it's skier, because skier is the cheese would be made here This is actually called the barn loft, the restaurant, and it's a loft that overlooks the farm. So on that side of the restaurant, you could see all of the cattle and all the animals below. You're right, eat. But um, we, we specifically chose to eat out here near the bar, away from the animals, because we want this girl to get a good meal in, and we'll go check out the animals later. <laughs> Look at a oh, cow, see? I oh showed Phoebe oh. the video of the cow and she's asking for more cow now. What does the cow say? So I think part of her terrible twos is, and why we're avoiding the cows now is, Phoebe now, when she wants something, she wants that and she has to have it. So it's something we're learning to deal with as we navigate these terrible twos, but this girl knows what she wants. All right, y'all food just arrived. This is the skier burger. This cheese is made on site on the farm. So that's why I picked this one. Came with fries for Phoebe, her favorite. And this is the pan fried trout. Some mixed vegetables and a salad and mm, potatoes. That looks so amazing. That looks great. Birthday looks meal. So good, oh my God, I'm so excited. Phoebe, your fries are here. Wow. Ooh. That I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into this burger. Let's try it. I'm gonna try the trout. Meal, <laughs> Loki. All right, guys. Here's mm. the burger, skier, the cheese made yep. on the farm. Baby loves it. Mm hmm. Yummy, baby. You wanna try the fish? Mm hmm. So good. Burger. You could tell it was cooked over fire. It's nice. Got that good char. Mm. The cheese. It's it's almost a strong flavor. Kind of like a that's a strong cheese. It's like strong but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Super good. I'm gonna try the trout now. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll get a little bit of the soy sauce on there. Trout. Mm -hmm. I love the trout. Sometimes trout could be a bit fishy to me, but the way this is prepared, it's, it's more mild and not overwhelming. I like the way that it's seasoned. The pan fried is nice because it gives some uh, texture on one side, on the skin side. Um, uh, mm. That is good. <laughs> These ones are close, but baby one wanted this to go. Is that cool? She went like this. Like the cow's easy. Yeah. That one's in the back of the thing. Yeah, cow's eating. Oh my god, look at the cow! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> baby cow! That's so cool! <laughs> what? The cow is trying to hump the other cow. Uh oh, why are you so... Uh -oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, Phoebe, that's right. Uh oh, my mama trying to show you that. I didn't see the uh -oh. cow showing her. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, Phoebe, well, look what daddy got. Wow! So, this ice cream, all the ice cream plate is made on the farm. Alright, y'all, while Mary and Phoebe enjoy the viewing, animal viewing, I'm eating ice cream made from the milk of these cows. So, all the ice cream is made on the farm. Mmm. Let's try the ice cream. I got Oreo. Super good. Boy loves Oreo. But almost just knowing that it's made on the farm makes it feel extra fresh. Want some? Say please. Okay. Yummy. Any more for Phoebe? Okay, so. This 12 out of 10 fire. You guys gotta stop at this place. Must see. Yes. Oh my goodness. Lunch and dessert, or lunch and dinner and a dessert all in one place with live animal viewing. Can't be beat out here in Iceland. All right, y'all. That does it for our dinner and dessert and animal viewing here. We have one more stop. We're trying to visit the National Park. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Dinnerville, something like that. National Park. We have probably have an hour of daylight left, so we're gonna see what we can see in that time. We'll be on our way. All right, guys. So we're on our way to the National Park. We don't know what we're gonna see, but so happy we listened to the recommendation, the the cafe where they sell the rye bread. Now, fingers crossed that we make it to the National Park with some light to see something. Guys, the conditions is pretty bad right now, so we're just gonna go home um, and call it a day and finish the Golden Circle another day. All right, guys, calling it a wrap for day two. Say hi, Phoebe, or say bye, Phoebe. Say bye. Bye. -bye. Say bye. Uh oh. Calling it a wrap for day two. We were the only thing we didn't get to do on the Golden Circle was the National Park. I'm not quite how to sure to pronounce it yet. I should look that up. I think it's Thingvellir National Park. I would guess, but um, yeah, we had too much fun at the dinner spot, looking at the animals, and the weather just took a turn on us. So we are planning to do the national park still on our way on the last day, or second to last day when we're back coming this way. Um, so yeah, we're still gonna complete the golden circle, just not today with the crazy weather. Yes, before the day is over, we gotta eat our noodles for long life for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Gotta eat some. Phoebe's already asking for a noo noo. Yes. All right, you want a bite, baby? Mm -hmm. Mom. Yes. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna call it a night now. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far and we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. We'll be visiting the town of Vic and exploring some amazing waterfalls and even venturing out to the infamous dangerous beach. Don't miss out. See you on the next one.